In order to understand what GDOT does, let's start with an analogy. Imagine your plant as an orchestra, where each section of the orchestra represents a group of unit operations. For instance, the trumpet represents your heat exchangers, violins are your distillation units, basses can be your furnaces, and so on. Each player in an orchestra is generally aware of his own performance. If he's out of tune, he can adjust on the fly, or if he thinks he's too loud, he can quiet down. This is like controls on each unit, where the control is limited to a single unit and maybe a couple other units closely related to that unit. Now, consider the conductor. The conductor can hear all the sections and can read all parts of the score. He can give section-specific instructions, like telling the trumpets to quiet down now in preparation for a big entrance a little later. He has control of the tempo or speed of the orchestra and can accelerate or decelerate the entire orchestra with a literal flick of the wrist. In this analogy, GDOT is the conductor. GDOT can use model information from many different units, like the conductor listening to each section, and information from planning and scheduling, like the conductor reading the score, and coordinate the many different units to optimize production. GDOT is short for Generic Dynamic Optimization Technology. The power of GDOT is its ability to incorporate data and models from multiple levels of production. GDOT can read dynamic control models from multiple different units. GDOT impacts the process through the APC controllers by sending dynamic targets to the controllers. GDOT is also able to incorporate planning models, such as those from Aspen PIMS. This allows GDOT to adjust the process based on a myriad of external factors, such as the crude assays coming into the process and flow rates of current assays. GDOT can also incorporate any custom models used in the scope of the GDOT module. A diagram showing an example implementation of GDOT is shown. In this diagram, GDOT is considering refinery economics and planning models alongside the APC dynamic models. It uses this data to send dynamic targets to the APC controllers on the various units and coordinates their operation. GDOT has many unique features. GDOT uses a patented dynamic data reconciliation technology to adjust models to match actual plant performance. The data reconciliation makes the models very low maintenance since they will be automatically recalibrating. The data reconciliation also allows for updating parameters and planning models. Since GDOT is constantly updating with data of the actual performance of the plant, new values of constraints on the performance of the plant can be sent to the planning model, improving its performance. This enables planners to make more aggressive and accurate plans, pushing the plant to its optimal performance. GDOT operates as a closed-loop controller, optimizing multiple process units in real time. Also, GDOT can be maintained by APC engineers without additional training. GDOT also has some pre-configured templates to make configuration, deployment, and maintenance of the models easier for common plant types, such as middle distillate plants and ethylene plants. GDOT also has pre-programmed proprietary process models for complex units such as hydrotreaters and fractionators. Real-time optimizers of the past were very difficult to maintain as the scope of the optimizer grew. With the combined planning and dynamic models, GDOT can be easily deployed and maintained on larger envelopes. Implementation of GDOT in real plants has created value for the plants. The naphtha processing example increased aromatics yield by 5% and reduced gasoline quality giveaway, leading to an additional three to $5 million per year. The distillate processing implementation led to a 10% increase in diesel production and an improvement of the quality, generating an additional four to $10 million per year. The residue processing application led to a 3% increase in conversion of the feed and $3 million per year. Finally, using GDOT to optimize hydrogen and utility systems has led to an additional one to $3 million per year.